Good morning from Brigatabari, which is a train station. Brigatabari. Brigatabari. And we are taking the train now from here to the airport. Our Airbnb is just around the corner. And we are a little bit trash because this Airbnb is more on the noisy side. <laughs> that can happen once in a while. Yes. And we are going to the airport not to fly. We are going to the airport to pick up our rental car. Because very often it's much cheaper to pick up the rental car at the airport instead of in the city. Yes. And we put a link down there where you can book really cheap uh, rental cars or where we mostly book. And from there we will do a road trip today along the coast of the Adriatic Sea. Yes. Adriatic Sea to a little beautiful village. But first let's see if we get the rental car and if everything <laughs> goes well because get the train. <laughs> you can you can look here in the video above sometimes we don't get the rental car <laughs> as we yeah, were expecting we it surprisingly it went really well we were expecting that we would be driven by coach somewhere long way from the airport but it's actually a hundred meters walk in a little box and the lady was really friendly and now we have to check all these points that are pointed out on the map of the car all the scratches and make photos we always make photos of the different scratches so we have a proof so according to the marks the car is completely damaged <laughs> yes <laughs> there's one here so now we got the car and as marty said the lady was super friendly and she tried to sell us the insurance package for the car, but we always uh, book it without insurance. We never really had a problem with it, except the one time in Mexico. But uh, if you want to save a lot of money, because we rented this car now for two weeks, and for two weeks it's around 200 euros, and only the insurance package is 245 euros for two weeks uh, for this car. So it's really worth if you have a credit card which covers also the insurance so when you choose your next next credit card have a look if you rent a car often go often on holidays it might be worse to to have a card with covered with which has the insurance inside or covering it and marty's driving how do you like your opel corsa it's very compact and we will have to drive now for 38 kilometers We've arrived in Polignano al Mare at the Adriatic Sea and this place has the sea. It also has a statue of a very famous person, we're going to show you that later. But first we're going to go to the modern art museum of Polignano. So who would have expected such a beautiful museum in this little village in the south of Italy? We found it accidentally because of Google Maps and it's really worth coming here to have a look because they have also ex changing exhibitions. But for the normal exhibition you probably need, don't need more than half an hour. It's 5 euros entrance fee. If you're here, come here anyway. Passion fruit. Uh, passion fruit? Ah, figo d'India. Figo d'India. Sono le spine dentro, attenzione. Sono le spine ancora dentro? 
we are now at Super Mario Brothers. No. Super Mario del Gelo Mario Campanella. And their speciality is granita. So this ice with fruit. It's like, it's like sorbet. It's mm. like sorbet ice. Passion fruit and Marty has fig of India. India fig. <laughs> Why of India? Because it's from a cactus. And on the other side is the entrance to the old village. on these beautiful terraces where you have the view over the sea which is very spectacular and here in Polignano there is a very special restaurant which is built into the caves into the rocks called Restaurante di Grotta Palazzese but it's been renovated it's part of a hotel and it's been completely rebuilt so maybe we can show you from the outside Polignano also has a tiny beach right down there and it's supposed to have the, have the best water quality of the beaches of the Adriatic side. So here is the statue I was talking to you about earlier, a very famous Italian singer, so famous everybody wants to make a selfie with him. Uh, I don't know if you recognize this guy, he made also the most heard Eurovision Song Contest song. Didn't win the song contest, but is one of the world's most played songs ever. This guy is Domenico Modugno and he did the song Volare. And Domenico Modugno is actually from Polignano and the song Volare actually is not called Volare, but Del Blu di Vinto di Blu. That was the original name, but nobody knows the song from that name. We are now in the Pescaria in Polignano and actually we got attention to this restaurant because there was such a long queue all the way outside to the street and then we went to see the city and came back and now the queue is much smaller, I can see it over there, but still we had to queue for around 15 minutes and this is 136 if I got it right and our number is 139 and and the food is better be good for queuing this long. Let's wait and see. This is a tuna tata sandwich. We waited half an hour for this, but looks pretty good. Let's taste it. After Polignano, we are now on our way to Castellano. And there we're going to do something which we did last time when we were children. <laughs> so I won't tell you yet. actually going to the Castellana Caves and this is a two-hour tour it's five o'clock already so we come back late maybe it's gonna be dark already and we are not allowed to film in there so maybe we just attach some pictures are you sure I think so we are now in the grave the entrance of the whole whole system and this place is 60 meters high and 50 meters wide and it has in the middle a group of stalactites I think that go from bottom up that are called the cyclopes and on the top there is a hole that gives some daylight to this area before we go into the darkness 
and the formations that come from top down up there they are called the stalactites and the things that go from bottom up they are called the stalagmites so earlier I said stalactites but they were actually stalagmites the group of the cyclones When I met you when we started off it sure was a different kind of so we are out from the Castellano Caves. This is something you really should do if you come in this area. The entrance is 16 euros per person. Uh, take a jacket because it's only 16 degrees down there and during uh, rainy season you should actually have a waterproof jacket because when it's rained outside it starts raining inside three months after. Luckily we were after a dry season so there was no rain. It's amazingly impressive. So this was our day outside of Bari in Polignano and in Castellano Caves. Thank you for watching. We will put some footage from the caves after the closing. So if you don't want to watch that, you can exit now. Otherwise, keep watching. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, safe travels always. Bye. A different kind, a different kind of love, a different kind was such a different kind of love, a different kind of Should I get up and run? Stop it right.